Today back then, what happened today in modern history? Let's get most smartest. Today is April Fool's Day, celebrated with practical jokes and general tomfoolery. Some historians believe it may have grown out of the medieval Feast of Fools, which was actually held on January 1st. Anyway, be safe and have fun. In 1748, the ruins of Pompeii, Italy are discovered. In 1778, New Orleans businessman Oliver Pollock creates the U.S. dollar symbol. In 1779, the United States House of Representatives elects Frederick Muhlenberg of Pennsylvania as its first House Speaker. In 1826, Samuel Moray patents the internal combustion engine. In 1850, the San Francisco, California county government is established. In 1853, Cincinnati, Ohio becomes the first U.S. city to employ full-time professional firefighters. In 1866, the U.S. Congress rejects the presidential veto and gives all people equal rights in the United States. In 1873, the British steamer RMS Atlantic sinks off the coast of Nova Scotia, killing 547 people. In 1889, in Chicago, Illinois, the first dishwashing machine is marketed. In 1891, the Wrigley Company is founded in Chicago, Illinois. In 1893, the United States Navy establishes the rank of Chief Petty Officer. In 1905, the British East African Protectorate becomes Kenya. In 1917, arguably the king of ragtime, American composer and pianist Scott Joplin died in a mental institution in New York City. In 1918, the United Kingdom's Royal Air Force was formed. In 1919, although tonight is the Stanley Cup Final, the trophy is not awarded due to a worldwide flu pandemic. In 1922, six Irish Catholic civilians are shot and beaten to death by a gang of policemen in Belfast, Northern Ireland. In 1924, Adolf Hitler was sentenced to five years in prison for his role in the Beer Hall Pooch. He only served nine months, but during that time he wrote much of the Mein Kampf. In 1925, Hebrew University in Jerusalem is dedicated. In 1929, Louis Marx introduces his creation, which he calls the yo-yo. In 1930, the movie The Blue Angel, starring Marlene Dietrich in her breakthrough role, premieres in Germany. In 1931, Jackie Mitchell becomes only the second female to play organized baseball when she signs with the Chattanooga Lookouts Baseball Club. In 1933, the recently elected Nazis organize a one-day boycott of all Jewish-owned businesses in Germany, which leads to a series of anti-Semitic acts. Also in 1933, Heinrich Himmler becomes police commander of Germany, but Hitler has bigger plans for him. In 1934, Bonnie and Clyde kill two young highway patrol officers near Grapevine, Texas, which finally turns public sentiment against them. In 1939, General Franco declares victory in the Spanish Civil War. In 1941, the U.S. Navy takes over Treasure Island in San Francisco Bay. Also in 1941, the Nazis forbid Jews access to cafes. In 1944, navigation errors lead to the accidental U.S. bombing of the Swiss city of Schaffhausen. In 1945, known as Operation Iceberg, U.S. troops landed on the Japanese island of Okinawa during World War II. In 1946, a 7.8 magnitude earthquake near Alaska's Aleutian Islands creates a tsunami that strikes the Hawaiian Islands, killing 159 people. In 1949, the 26 countries of the Irish Free State become the Republic of Ireland. Also in 1949, after seven years, the Canadian government repeals Japanese-Canadian internment. Yes, the Canadians did it as well. In 1952, the Big Bang Theory is first proposed in the Physical Review by Alfer, Bette, and George Gamow. In 1954, the United States Air Force Academy was created by an act of Congress and was later built in Colorado Springs, Colorado. Also in 1954, the first U.S. Army Helicopter Battalion is formed in Fort Bragg, North Carolina. In 1956, at the 10th Tony Awards, the Diary of Anne Frank and Damn Yankees both win. In 1957, as an April Fool's joke, the BBC broadcast the Spaghetti Tree Hoax. You should Google it. In 1960, the Tyros-1 satellite transmits the first television picture 
from space. In 1963, two American daytime soap operas premiere, General Hospital on ABC TV and Doctors on NBC TV. In 1966, musical team Sam and Dave released their song, Hold On, I'm Coming. In 1967, the United States Department of Transportation begins operations. In 1969, the Seattle Pilots baseball team trades a little-known minor league outfielder to the Kansas City Royals and regret it for years to come. His name was Lou Pinella. In 1970, U.S. President Richard Nixon signs the Public Health Cigarette Smoking Act into law, which requires the Surgeon General's warning on tobacco products and bans cigarette advertising on television and radio. Also in 1970, John Lennon and Yoko Ono release a hoax that they are having a dual sex change operation. Yeah, that was their joke. In 1971, the Pakistani army massacred over 1,000 people in Bangladesh. In 1973, a tiger conservation project called Project Tiger is launched in India. Also in 1973, John Lennon and Yoko Ono form a new country with no laws or boundaries and call it Natopia. Its national anthem is silence. Hmm, you never knew what to expect from those two. In 1976, Apple Incorporated is founded and then took over the world. Also in 1976, Helter Skelter, based on prosecutor Vincent Bugliosi's book detailing Charles Manson's family and the Tate LaBianca murders, premieres on CBS TV. In 1978, The Bob Newhart Show airs its final episode on NBC TV. In 1979, marking the end of the Iranian Revolution, Rahola Khomeini declares Iran an Islamic Republic. In 1982, the U.S. formally transfers the Panama Canal Zone to Panama. In 1984, American singer Marvin Gaye dies today after being shot by his father. In 1990, the Ha! Comedy Channel on cable TV begins transmitting today. Now we have Comedy Central. Ha was way funnier if you ask me. Also in 1990, it becomes illegal in Salem, Oregon to be within two feet of nude dancers. Sounds to me like some folks were getting a bit too touchy at their favorite club. In 1991, after five years, Iran finally releases British hostage Roger Cooper. Also in 1991, the US Supreme Court rules that jurors cannot be barred from serving due to their race. In 1992, the last defendant in the St. John sex assault case is sentenced to three years probation. You should Google that one as well. Also in 1992, NHL players begin the first strike in their 75-year history. In 1995, the Carlson Wagenly Travel Agency begins charging a $15 service fee and helps the travel industry begin nickel and diming us. In 1996, at only 51 years old, MLB umpire John McSheary dies of a heart attack while umpiring on opening day at the Cincinnati Reds Riverfront Stadium. In 1999, the Canadian territory of Nunavut is created today. Also in 1999, Detroit Pistons guard Joe Dumars becomes only the 10th player in NBA history to play 1,000 games with the same team. In 2000, Michelle Kwan becomes the first American since Peggy Fleming to win three world figure skating titles. In 2001, the Netherlands become the first country to allow same-sex marriage. Also in 2001, a U.S. spy plane and a Chinese fighter jet that was tailing it over the South China Sea collided in mid-air. The Chinese pilot died, but the U.S. crew landed and were detained for 11 days. In 2001 as well, the former president of Yugoslavia, Slobodan Milosevic, surrenders to the police and is tried for war crimes. In 2002, exactly one year after legalizing same-sex marriage, as we just learned, today the Netherlands becomes the first nation in the world to legalize euthanasia. In 2004, Google launched Gmail, and within five years the number of people using the email service surpassed 1 billion. In 2006, the Serious Organized Crime Agency is created in the United Kingdom. Tongue in cheek, it is referred to as the British FBI. Well, they could have come up with a better name. 
In 2007, American super swimmer Michael Phelps wins his record seventh gold medal at the World Championships in Melbourne, Australia. In 2011, after protests against the burning of the Quran turned violent, a Muslim mob attacked a United Nations compound in Afghanistan, killing 13 people. In 2012, at the 32nd Golden Razzie Awards, Jack and Jill wins for Worst Movie. Yep, they got that one right. Also in 2012, at the 47th Academy of Country Music Awards, Taylor Swift, Blake Shelton, and Miranda Lambert are winners. In 2013, the world's first smelling TV screen is unveiled in Japan. Yes, a TV that allows you to smell things happening on the screen. That could be kind of scary. In 2014, NATO suspends all civilian and military cooperation with Russia. In 2017, Bob Dylan receives his Nobel Prize for Literature at a private ceremony in Stockholm, Sweden. Also in 2017, Chinese leaders announce plans to build a city from scratch that will be three times the size of New York City. We'll see how that goes. In 2018, American television producer Stephen Bochco died at the age of 74. He was the co-creator of hit shows such as Hill Street Blues, LA Law, and NYPD Blue. In 2019, as reported today in the journal Nature Geoscience, methane was detected on Mars in 2013. The really interesting thing is that methane is produced by living things. Also in 2019, and also reported today, U.S. online sales overtake brick-and-mortar retail sales for the first time. And lastly, in 2020, Wimbledon is canceled for the first time since World War II because of the COVID-19 pandemic. That was today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm sure that you did. Make sure you check out a whole bunch more of them. I've got them right there in front of you, and I'm making more. Happy April Fool's Day. Talk to you tomorrow.